Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Today's Topical Tuesday, which is the old day of the week where we look at the subreddit, which is why I got the subreddit pulled up. And unsurprisingly, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, and I'm sure if you've been following the game any sort of amount, you know what this week's episode is going to be about. It is going to be about the giant exploitation and drama and abuse of the exploits and all that other shit that has been going on over the last couple of days here. And on a side note, Hopefully, um, if you ever had any doubt as to how Amazon handles things, I mean, it's not ever going to change, uh, as we can see here. But you'll see what I mean in a bit here, a bit later, because I have some stuff pulled up. I have some threads pulled up. And also, obviously, I did want to announce that I'm retiring from Lost Ark. I mean, I was banned in the ban wave, you know, I was exploiting. No, I, obviously I'm not, but I am locked out of my fucking character um, because it's in the stronghold and strongholds are disabled. So I'm stuck eternally and uh, I get a couple day break. Anyways, what what what, what happened? What, what was the exploit? OK, so the exploit is this. The exploit that happened was basically ignite servers give a bunch of rewards right everybody knows this you make a character on the ignite server you get a box of fucking shit to hone and help you hone basically because you get given a lot of materials on ignite servers and basically you could get this reward box on your main roster characters that is the exploit so you are getting this accelerated growth box on the main server. Now, it would be a pretty bad exploit if you could only get it one time, but you couldn't. You could, in fact, get it as many times as your heart desired. All you had to do was visit an Ignite character's stronghold. So all you had to do was cycle between Ignite character strongholds, which is why they disabled strongholds. And that is also why... I let in with the lovely joke of me being banned because obviously a lot of people are banned, but I am not one of them because I am a good boy. Also, I just don't care. Um, it does suck that I'm stuck in Stronghold Hell, but it doesn't really matter. It just prevents me from doing dailies because that's the only thing I do in this game anyways. So, what exactly did you get? Well, this thread here, the list of achievable progression with the exploit, kind of has a... A list of the things that you could do with the materials that you get from the boxes. So we're talking about things like honing materials. Uh, it did give you tier 3 honing materials. Which, for the astute amongst you, can convert into tier 4. Um, so it doesn't matter if it gives you tier 3 or tier 4. They're both es essentially the same thing. Um, you basically could have max honed your character. Uh, we only have Relic Gear currently. So you could have taken that new tier four relic gear to 16, or excuse me, 1710, I believe is the maximum item level, which is plus 20. That's a lot, man. It also gave you elixirs. It gives you free silver elixirs. Not that it mattered because it also gave you silver and gold, but we'll get to that in a bit. So you could have easily just infinitely cut elixirs. Gives you dark fires, which again, allow you to unlock transcendence. If you didn't already have a transcendence unlocked on that character, and you got infinite dark fires because you could get infinite of all of these because you could open the box as many times as you want because you could farm as many as you wanted, which is really bad for anyone following here. You could also get full quality on everything because, again, you got blue stones and red stones. What do you need to tap your armor? Blue and red stones. So every time you open the box, you get more quality taps. It, it was just bad. And then obviously you got unlimited silver and you got bound gold, which... Thankfully, is good that you got bound gold. We'll get to the other gold exploit later. But, yes. This, very bad. It, like, exceptionally bad. Like, monumentally bad. Obviously, not happy about it. Um, <laughs> It's just not good. <laughs> Sounds like the progression event Lost Ark needs, if you ask me. True. You forgot permanently banned. This is not happening. Uh... I, I said it wasn't happening back then, too. Hold on, I need to pop a cough drop. I am feeling a lot better, but my throat is still struggling to keep up with the words that I'm trying to say. So, un momento, poor flavor. Hmm, okay. Got that cough drop in me. 
I got that dog in me. But I guess I'll just get this out of the way. My opinion right now, I do believe if you knowingly exploited the shit out of this, you deserve to be permaban. I think we'll, we'll get into that more, but I do agree it should have been a permaban. Anyways, that's what the exploit was. The general idea behind the exploit. And then obviously, as the day progressed, it was just people talking about the exploit. Because, I mean, it's the biggest thing that's happened. Obviously, it's going to be the topic on everybody's mind. So this thread obviously was made afterwards. More excited about the exploit consequences after Ager, uh, rather than Ager release, which, again, I am too. I also think Ager probably should have been delayed because all this fucking mess. But that's neither here nor there. Everybody at this point knows um, I'm a filthy casual who doesn't like learning a new raid every two months or monthly at this rate. But it's just bad. <laughs> and a lot of people were obviously eating their popcorn, waiting for this stuff. Most exciting thing besides Tier 4 that has happened in a while. I mean, I would say it's more exciting than Tier 4, honestly. The real T4 reset was the permabans we made along the way. I mean, we're not going to be getting very many of them. Um, and they're not going to be privy to us, but yes. And then this is obviously just a meme somebody made. But it is a very real meme that encapsulates exactly the kind of shit that people could do. And then, if they don't approach this the right way, it includes some fat fat bans, complete revert on their character to start tier 4. I personally don't see a reason to not start RMTing. There's no penalty to cheating. Why shouldn't I? Or anyone for that matter. Ethics, fuck that. I played fair and square since day one. Spent hundred, several hundreds of dollars. And if this is what our legit player is for a fuck up this big, I'm done playing nice. I mean, yeah. This is kind of... I mean, I guess I'll talk about why I think perma bans are good. In a little bit but it ties into this it sends a bad message to both the players of your game and also like your game in general like you have no respect for your own game if somebody's willingly exploiting something here let's just go to the um the response update from <laughs> yeah and then this obviously summon punishments Huge fan of permabans. No one dares to do an exploit again. I think a huge part of quantity of players abusing it is lack of good punishment. True. I agree here, too. Fuck them up. Even if they do ban, we won't really know the full extent of it. Yes, this is also very true, which is kind of what I was just mentioning. They can say they banned. We might even get a few pictures from defeated players willing to expose themselves. But they may very well only ban 1% of the players that did the exploit decisively more than once, not an accident, etc. So we never know. Amazon doesn't like banning players that allow them to pay the money. Hence the kingdom ruled by fear thing. As long as you pay the money, you escape a real per real punishment like a perma. I agree. Oh, is this like a little write-up? Yeah, so this is a write-up. This is the other exploit that was happening. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh... Shout out to this guy, Skytava, Sky, Skytavia, for um, do this little write-up here. The first exploit, which is the one we just went over, was if you visited the stronghold of an Ignite character with someone on your legacy server, regardless of the eye level of the Ignite character and leave, you get all of the express rewards, which is seven boxes that contain a lot of shit, etc., etc. Could be repeated infinitely. So, yeah. You gain, like, 670k bound gold per hour, billions of silver, along with millions of bound tier 3 mats, so you can convert to tier 4. And then the second exploit, which I haven't seen proof of this. This is true. This is much more hush-hush. Um, and we don't 100% know if this exploit was real or not. But I, I'm i inclined to believe more on the side of it being real versus it not being real. Um, if you visited the stronghold of a legacy server character on your Ignite character, you could access the marketplace through the marketplace NPC. You could list something for gold in the auction house, and then on the legacy server character... You could attempt to buy it. It would fail, but you would get two mails of return gold, thus doubling your gold. You do this 100 times a day with the listing limitations. That's what I've gathered through days of this happening based on the official Discord feedback plus the subreddit. And then this is what AGS did to prevent the bleeding, which is disabling the box so you can't open them. And then they disabled the ability to go into a stronghold. Uh, great write up here. I love this. We need more of that shit. And then this is the big Amazon post that they posted the other day, 20 hours ago as of me recording this. But 
basically the TLDR is blah 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 blah. Um, play fair. We ha we can determine what constitutes unfair play, and take corrective action we deem appropriate. And then here's this shit. The general policy. Around 2,300 players received reward chests from the Ignite Stronghold reward issue. Within this group, over 1,200 did not open any of the chests. <clears throat> the group that did not open any reward chests will not have any action taken against their accounts apart from removing the unopened chests from their inventory. For the remaining 1,000 players who opened the chests, the severity of the penalty... Sorry, I was getting my um, cough drop in. Uh, the severity of the penalty will directly correspond to the level of the bug of exploitation. At a base level, all items will be removed and skill tree levels will be rolled back. For items that were used and cannot be removed, players may have gold or the gold value of the used items deducted from their balance, or be sent to the negatives corresponding to the severity of the abuse. This policy will apply to all materials, include processed chaos stones and combined honing materials, along with the item withdrawals. Players will be receiving suspensions and bans matching the level of exploit. So let me digest this real quick. I think, on the surface level, it's technically quote-unquote fair, right? Because they basically got a cash advance on materials. So, if they were debited and put into debt for the amount that these things would have cost, it es essentially ends up being quote-unquote fair, right? But it just doesn't sit right with me knowing that people are free to exploit and you have so little self-respect for both the players or care for the players and self-respect for your, your own game and the own creation that you put in and you foster the environment that has the people that are willing to exploit as soon as they can and exploit hard because they know they will never get permanently punished because... <clears throat> These are the same kind of people that have no qualms doing shit like this. So they will have no qualms if they really wanted to get out of the negatives. Just buying like Chinese gold farmed gold off G2G to get out of the negatives, right? And I'm well aware perma banning these people wouldn't stop them from ever playing the game. It for sure would stop some, but it would not stop all. People would just buy new accounts, etc. But that's not the point. The point is... It just isn't a good look. And I think it's disrespectful to the people who play the game normally, you know? Who are not exploitative assholes, essentially. You shouldn't want to play with cheaters. You shouldn't want to play with exploiters. I don't. Nothing with against them, them or their character. I just, why do you want these people in your game? I don't know. Anyways. That's my yapping on that. Um, <clears throat> give me a second here. Let me get some water. Mm. The first group of players who may have mistakenly encountered the issue and did not repeatedly abuse the bug, the players who opened one or two of the chests, they will have any of the items withdrawn that have and have not been suspended or banned at this time. Our team is investigating if we can remove the items for this group during maintenance. If the item removal process is engaged to take longer than the maintenance period, this group of players will receive a short suspension to give our team the time needed to remove the items. Spending these items in the meantime will result in, will result in further action such as gold removal. Players who continually exploited the issue and open multiple reward chests will have more severe action taken corresponding to the level of the exploit. <clears throat> so, if you've opened one or two chests, or you have chests in your inventory that you never opened, and you had not opened any previously, you're fine. Make sense? So, that's our baseline. Zero, one, or two opened, you're fine. No suspension, nothing crazy happening to you, and I think this is okay. I do. I think this is okay. Because... You get one of the boxes, you go, huh, that's weird. That's not right. Can I recreate it? Now you have two. Okay. Well, now that you have two of the boxes, you know you can recreate it, right? And opening them, you can argue that, well, getting the box should be enough. You don't have to open them. 
But I can understand wanting to open them to make sure it's like, oh, shit, look at this. I'm making items. Whatever. I understand it is what I'm saying. Players that open three to seven chests will receive a two-week suspension. Again, light abuse of it. I can understand a smaller suspension. But I think what I have a real problem with is this right here. But 18, uh, 8 to 14 chests will receive a one-month suspension. So these are the tiers so far. You have 3 to 7 have a two-month or a two-week. 8 to 14 have a one-month. And then anyone that, that is in the last category, which is 15 plus chess, will receive a notice that you've received a month suspension and you're pending further review. This group will have various levels of action taken up to permanent vans from the game. My issue is... At a certain point, whatever this arbitrary number that you come up with, like the Amazon team comes up with, like you have to have a number that you're willing to say, okay, anyone past this number was exploiting this for their own personal gain, and they had no qualms doing it. Whatever that number is, what a, anyone above that number should just get permit. And I feel like not saying it openly is weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. I understand that they can do whatever the fuck they want. Obviously, it's their game, their rules, right? They even say it in this post. We do whatever the hell we want. Fair. But this is what I kind of have the problem with and kind of why I say it's like a bad look. And I've always said this, you know, for what it's worth. Um, It's like a disrespect for the people who willingly don't look for exploits or look to abuse things or look to get ahead in shady ways or engage in like shady behavior, illicit things, shit like that. It, it, it makes that subset of group go, fuck it, why don't I just exploit everything? Because at worst I go negative gold and then I can buy Chinese gold and get out of the hole or whatever, right? Or I can get so far ahead, maybe this will be the exploit that they don't figure out about. Because who knows how many exploits have went unknown, you know what I mean? Well, I don't fucking know. Nobody knows except the people exploiting this shit, right? And I, that is such a bad mindset to have for a video game, especially an MMORPG, right? It's just you don't want these kind of people and you don't want this, like, fostering of people in your game. And it just kind of feels like that this isn't it. They care more about... It, like, it seems like to me, if one of these people in the negative swipe through the F4 shop to make up for the negative gold, like, that would have been worth it for Amazon. That's what they care about more than anything. And it's like, people have... I've seen people, some people make the argument of, like, oh, you can't ban them. Like, it'll kill the game. It'll kill the game. Brother, I do not want to play with people who want to exploit the game in the first place, right? I don't want to cheaters in the game willingly exploiting shit. Who, who does, right? If the game dies because of this, the game dies because of it, you know? Like... You have to have some level of respect for both your game and the players. And it's just, it, it, I don't know. That's my opinion, obviously. My opinion alert. Um, And then they just go on to say what they're going to do. I mean, it is what it is. And then this guy asks about the unbound gold, do, uh, gold and item dupe. And it's saying so something we are aware of and will be addressing separately. We have reviewed this and it's not nearly as impactful or effective as initial reports showed it will be fixed and addressed in the next maintenance. So this confirms that it is real, in my opinion. Um, we still don't 100% know, but, I mean, Rocks literally said it exists and it's not as impactful, so. Your mileage may vary. Who knows? Whomst knows? But, I think I've said my piece at this point. My voice is completely shot. Even though I do feel a lot better, thank God, I still, my voice is not not holding up. Anyways, obviously, let me know what you guys think. And yes, just one more time for the fans, I'm not banned. Clearly, it was a joke. I'll log into a character just so you can see. I mean, I wouldn't be able to make it to the character select screen if I was banned. But, let me know what you guys think. 
I'm interested to know. I think it's a shit show. I think it was really funny. It It is what it is, as I always like to say. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe, of course. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Uh, thank you, my YouTube members, of course. It's Biscuits in your Diz. Remix my life. I'm Nufu. You guys are all the greatest big hearts. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.